we got our first look at the Falcon and the Winter Soldier during the Super Bowl. You know, this has been um, anticipated, to say the least, because people want to know what happens with the Captain America mantle. Wh where do they go with these characters? What's next for Disney? And this is, you know, a big factor of the post-Endgame world. Like, this is, a, like, a huge look into it and which direction you're going in, kind of like Spider-Man was. Um, I, I thought that the quick shots they showed were just good enough to get everybody talking about it. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. No. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. Well, but, um, I think we both know, and I think, oh, hopefully everyone should know that, like, John Walker's Captain America. Yeah. Yep. Like, he's not going to be U.S. agent straight away because they've given him a Captain America suit. That's oh, why totally. his suit's blue and not black. So yep. He's 100% camp. He's government-backed. Mm -hmm. uh, and It's going to be interesting to see, like, the downfall, you know, how he goes pretty nutty. Oh, God, yeah, how, what happens with him. And I'm guessing, you know, that's going to be some Zemo manipulation. Be like, look, you're fighting for your country at Captain America, right? Um, let me show you the corruption. And, like, he'll slowly start to twist his ideals and all that, mm -hmm. which I think that's a good angle to take. Now, the interesting thing about this, you know, like, I talked about it before. When I, I go to the gym and I hear the casual people talk about it, the people that just, you know, watch TV. They don't know what's coming. These are the same people that thought Endgame was end of it, right? Like, they didn't know there was more coming. So a couple of them were talking about it. And this is, like, as I was hearing, so I got into a conversation with them, obviously. But they were all, like... Oh my God, how is Captain America back? Because again, that teaser spot doesn't show you, right? It doesn't. And people are like, wait. So a lot of casual people are like, wait, is this going to be because the whole multiverse thing? Because they've heard about the multiverse concept now. So like the casual people are starting to come up with it. And, you know, they watch the Super Bowl because they love sports and stuff. And the chatter was just going on. I'm like, interesting. So, you know, us here, everybody that's listening to this, we know it's not Steve Rogers. But the uh, perfect shot of that running and not revealing who it is, like, ooh, uh, th that was good. Ooh, but, right. What if they try and play him off as Steve Rogers? Ooh. Oh, that'd be, that'd be good. <laughs> like, I, yeah, like, the world thinks Steve's dead. He's, we know, everyone knows he's not dead. Right. But, like, the government could be like, you know, this is Steve Rogers. Like, but, mm. Mm -hmm. And I kind of talked myself out about the whole. Like, I just remembered the Far From Home bit at the start. And it was just like, damn. But I, I, mean, I think the still government could try to like twist it, being like, yeah. hey, you know, Steve Rogers. Reports of my demise are gravely exaggerated. You know? Yeah, exactly. Or like, maybe, you know, you heard about all the great tales about Captain America. Guess what? There was more Captain Americas. Check out this guy. This guy was the one you think. Like, try to skew mm -hmm. the perception of because well, it's all it's all going to be about the political agenda and how they're trying to spin oh, a new yeah. Captain America. We know that's the plot of it. So it's like, mm -hmm. like, no, like that that quick teaser, man. It, oh god, it got me so hyped. Like, I'm, I'm saying, all, all I wanted from it was the the football scene in the stadium. Yep. Because obviously we've seen a screenshot or yeah, it's like set pictures of that. Mm -hmm. It's like just give me it's too good not to use that shot at the Super Bowl. Yep, exactly. Like it's literally the perfect time. And I would have liked a bit more of just that. I could have done with not seeing anything else and like maybe obviously like a little bit of Zemo, but I'm I was fine with everything else. Seeing Sam throw that shield and have the oh. little stumble at the end as he lets go is fantastic. Yeah it is. It's like yeah it's not so easy for a normal guy. Right. <laughs> He's gonna have to struggle. And uh, I also like that. Um, my hope was that the spot was going to be a propaganda spot. Yeah, like, that's exactly what I wanted. Like, yeah, I, I really like, just wanted give to... me cap propaganda. Yeah, I wanted to be like Captain America. He's been with us this whole time, and now enjoy the big game. And thank you. Here's a word from Captain America. And it's like U.S. agent giving the salute, and like you know the, the jets <laughs> flying over, and like. I was hoping for something like that because I thought that would have been perfect. I understand why they didn't because we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I think they're actually going to probably take that route once they get into this fall because it's too good not to do that. Yeah, especially yeah, this just, year with the United States. It, I was going to say with the election, it might be a bit too on the nose <laughs> to do all of that stuff. But at the same time, that's what Cap was made for. Yep, do it. What? Like, right. He I, literally is political propaganda. Well, if you back away from it, you're cowards. I put it on Twitter. I was like, I think that they're going to like try to do a new version of the USO tour 
with oh i'd love it with it, it looks like it looks it looks like a modern uso tool. exactly like uh, he's literally going game to game spreading mm. the you know the word of captain america and you know america and all this i'm like oh this is this is going to be good if they go like, that they direction could, like, there's rumors from like the the stadium's uh set photos that sung birds there Ooh. it's like what if they try and pull off like here's your new cap bucky and falcon <sighs> And it's like Songbird's the new Falcon, uh, maybe Zemo's the Bucky, and that's how he play he ties into everything. Bro. Oh uh, man, that's like setting up the Dark Wyatt. Avengers Thunderbolts right there. I was, like, oh. I was thinking more Thunderbolts, but like that's like bam. Ooh, damn, that'd be good. That would be good. Like, and they just go around America being like, Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about us. Eat the propaganda. All right. <laughs> feed, babies, feed. Yeah. So, yeah, Um. obviously this is going to have a bigger reveal coming up this, like, oh, summer yeah. because San Diego, I'm assuming they're going to blow it all out because it's coming out in yeah. August. So, you know, everybody stay tuned for that and we'll obviously be coming So out. thank you for taking the time to watch that video. If you guys would like more content that we offer here for channel members, which you guys can check out in the little joint button down below, we do offer additional content, such as exclusive podcasts and topic discussions, our gaming podcast, Star Wars TV series reviews, Marvel show reviews, DC Universe, and CW reviews. We offer personal vlogs, backlog reviews of TV shows and movies, video game topics, and Q&As. And of course, in one of our best tiers, we offer audio commentaries on TV shows and movies, along with a bunch of other stuff you guys can check out just by clicking that join button and seeing what is on offer.